last soundbite, we saw how the diminished seventh arpeggio is entirely composed of minor third intervals. All notes spaced uh, exactly three semitones apart. Now here's a look at how I might use this knowledge to improvise over a diminished seventh chord that crops up in the middle of a typical blues or jazz tune. Over this tune, I can happily rely on the C major scale or C major blues scale as a general safety net for my improvising. For this demonstration, I'll mainly be using the notes that belong in this position here uh, so my C major scale Am I adding those couple of notes on at the bottom there as well? Uh, and the major blues scale But if I want to highlight the F-sharp diminished 7th chord that follows the F at the beginning of the second line, it helps if I quickly first check the notes that make up this chord. So if I simply play the arpeggio starting on the F here, we've got F-sharp, A, C, and E-flat. Jamming along something like this, just using the C major scales over the changes. Then, as the second line starts, I simply target any one of those four notes that belongs to the F sharp diminished seventh arpeggio. In this case, let's head for this C up here. And as it falls under my pinky, I'm simply going to play straight down my pattern of minor thirds. So I'd end up with something like this. By following the pattern, I don't even need to know the names of the notes, but if we freeze that for a moment and replay it, we see that I play the notes C, A, F sharp, E flat, C, A, F sharp. All notes from our F sharp to A7 arpeggio. Let's try it again. This time maybe I'm working your way down the bottom end of the scale pattern. So this time I find that it's this E flat that I target and as I've landed on it with my first finger I'm going to play my pattern ascending this time. Same pattern of nothing but minor thirds. And then that links me back neatly into my C major scale as I uh, come to the sixth bar. Once again, I'm simply following one of those patterns that we went over in the last secret soundbite. And as long as my starting point is one of the four notes from the uh, F sharp diminished seventh arpeggio, so those notes were F sharp, A, C and E flat. In this case we happen to be starting on the E flat, by, but by playing our pattern we simply get the same note again. 
E flat, F sharp, A, C, E flat again, F sharp again, C, uh, A again, and C again. Okay, so to end off now, let's just try that over the backing track to give our ears a better idea of how it all works. track together with the printout for the uh, chord sequence to that tune under the video screen so you can spend a bit of time experimenting with that yourself. In the next lesson we'll look at a way of extending the diminished seventh arpeggio into a scale using an old jazzers trick. If you found this little video useful please do click on the like button if there is one or leave a comment and do feel free to share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials, please do visit the Secret Guitar Teacher website and take a free look round at what's available there. See you again soon.